planting milkweed in my garden is actually bad for monarch butterflies, at least here in the New Orleans area where I live. Sounds counterintuitive, right? Monarchs are incredible migrants, journeying from Mexico's OML fir forests all the way north over several generations. Milkweed is their lifeline. It's the only host plant where they lay eggs and their sole food source for the caterpillars. It even gives them a crucial defense against predators. But here's the problem in the South. Most commercially sold milkweed is the tropical kind. Unlike our native milkweed, it sticks around all year. Now in the fall, when monarchs should be flying south to Mexico, this persistent tropical milkweed tempts them to stay and breed. They get stuck here, disrupting their natural migration. And that's where OE comes in. Now this parasite can live on any milkweed, tropical or native, and if a caterpillar eats an infected leaf, it's sick and will be unable to migrate as an adult butterfly. Now, normally our native milkweed dies back to the ground in winter, but tropical milkweed doesn't a lot of the times. So it's infected and OE spores just build up. These non-migrating monarchs can now breed all winter on tropical milkweed, creating a sick population and then spreading OE spores even to native milkweed when it emerges from dormancy in the spring. Then some of the healthy monarchs that are migrating north during spring migration will stop on the infected milkweed and get infected themselves. Shockingly, the University of Georgia's Project Monarch Health suggests a nearly 100% OE infection rate in Gulf Coast cities. So down here, that well-intentioned tropical milkweed or even native milkweed can actually be a trap for these amazing butterflies. So what do we do here in the South if we still want to help the monarchs? Well, if you live in a densely populated area, let's just skip the milkweed altogether. But if you must have it, cut it to the ground by June 1st so that monarchs can move on in their migration. But it's probably best just to plant high quality nectar sources since monarchs still need nectar to power themselves as adults. In the fall, I've seen monarchs drawn to asters and goldenrods in particular, and there are too many great, high-quality native plants uh, that are blooming in the spring to even name. But we could plant native host plants for other butterflies too. Planting purple passion vine almost guarantees that you'll see gulf fritillary caterpillars, but there are many other great native host plants as well. Partridge pea, native cassia, oak trees, the, the list is super long. Whatever you do, keep planting native, y'all.